emotional intelligence is the flavor of the season a number of people are saying that more than your iq the intelligence quotient it is the eq the emotional intelligence which is actually going to determine whether you're going to be successful in life or not intelligent people as we understand may rub the people the wrong way may not be able to get along with other people may not be suitable members of a team and so on and so forth so in this short talk we'll be talking in terms of what eq emotional intelligence is more importantly that the various dimensions of emotional intelligence are actually derived from our ancient scriptures more particularly bhagavad gita and i would like to end with a small footnote underscoring that emotional intelligence is not a virtue in itself now the chart which we are displaying is often seen in social media in rigorous literature and so on are basically five dimensions of emotional intelligence It starts off with social skills how you speak the manner in which you speak and are you also listening hearing are you argumentative so on so forth so hearing listening are you hearing to understand or are you hearing to just reply or think of a counter argument silent and listen our anagrams the same words toggled and permuted in a different manner give you silent and listen so when you're speaking you're only disseminating what you already know but when you are listening you may gain something so this is an important part how you communicate verbally body language very important and of course the listening skills social skills then we have self regulation our scriptures talk about regulating yourself we talk in terms of the senses the five senses and we had a small video on the chariot analogy derived from one of the upanishads and what it essentially said was that your senses are like horses and you require your mind to regulate them mind are like the reins so therefore there are two ways actually in which we look at senses one is a traditional and more constrictive view that don't look at bad things don't hear slanderous things don't taste bad things so on so forth so therefore you kind of impose a restraint on the senses so that negative sensory perceptions don't get into your mind the other is training your senses through your mind that even if you see something which is irrelevant you're not affected by it your mind acts as a filter this is exactly what bhagavad gita talks in terms so that even if someone is saying bad things to you you do not immediately explode into anger and react rather than putting ear plugs you are filtering that using your mind so this is very important self regulation motivation when there is a whole set of literature we had a series of uh, talks on the mentors and gurus and spiritual gurus and so on for you have the life coaches the idea basically is that motivation at the end of the day has to come from inside of you internally and that is going to be there if what you're doing is something which resonates with your inner core nikola tesla i have often quoted him said that if you really want to understand and unlock the secrets of the universe what you need to do is to understand energy frequency and vibration so something has to kind of resonate with your inner core and only then would you be able to work with motivation and that is exactly what dharma is not the job that you do not an occupation but your ultimate calling and purpose for being on this planet and the whole idea including the japanese concept of ikigai which we again talked about is trying to do things which help you to make a living is good for the world as a whole you love doing it you're passionate about it and that is what motivation is all about and let me tell you one thing when people are not motivated it is not because there is lack of energy we all have quite a chunk of energy inside us latent talents inside us but 
whether we have the will and that will will only come when what you are about to do is resonating with your internal frequency the inner core the inner conscience the fourth circle which they talk about in uh, emotional intelligence is about empathy empathy has to be distinguished from sympathy sympathy can be sometimes very condescending okay you're hurt i'm going to tie this bandaid and off you go don't, don't make a great deal of fuss about it empathy is you putting yourself in the shoes of that person and actually feeling that pain and when you do that you kind of divide that pain so people are not looking for sympathy there's a lot of sympathy trotting around and moving around in this world what people are looking at empathy are you genuinely feeling the pain so this is a very important part of emotional intelligence and our shastras also talking in terms of dividing the pain of the humanity when the leader takes upon himself to divide he cannot of course ameliorate the sufferings of the entire uh, you know population on a demographic scale but when he feels an element of empathy that is very important and then of course the last circle is about self awareness and that is what the core message of bhagavad gita is that please don't identify your body mind and intellect bmi with your inner core inner atman as they say so body yes senses are a part of it mind your mental faculties you calculate your mathematical abilities logical abilities and then of course your intellect your buddhi and vivek to take discerning decisions those are the bmi but behind that is the core consciousness again going back to our chariot analogy the body senses were the horses mind were the reins and the charioteer was the person who was actually controlling and then you have the atman the rider so we have to be very careful that self awareness of the inner atman inner conscience is different from this body mind and intellect and once you realize this then you would have a self awareness which helps you to navigate this torturous and tortuous path of this human birth so these friends are the five dimensions of emotional intelligence and we can cultivate them we can develop them and most of it is mentioned in our ancient scriptures but what is the concluding note the concluding note is that it is not a virtue in itself if you have all these skills you're a glib talker you could be swindling people of their money you could be robbing a bank you could be a great mind putting those mental faculties to criminal use so therefore emotional intelligence is of purpose if your buddhi and vivek your intellect guides you properly and it is in turn guided by your inner core inner consciousness your atman so that in pursuit of your purpose of being on this planet you use these faculties for the pursuance of that particular objective and not to swindle people to cheat people to con people so this was small talk friends on emotional intelligence today and if you think that these little videos are useful to you and your friends please don't hesitate to share comment like and subscribe see you soon